if you want to teleport to UI where if you're over somewhere in your map which is very far away from the place that you want to be a teleport GUI is what you need for your game okay so I have a GUI here and I have three places to teleport to so I can go to place one like this I've been teleported to a different position and go place two just uh, closer to the door and place number three which is just like further away from the door so I can go to different positions like this so if this is what you want for your game then this video is for you so make sure you like subscribe and turn on the bell and continue watching this video for help on this so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you after the intro Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, The Chicken Game here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a teleport GUI. So, you can teleport to different places on your map, so you can just insert a part here, and then you can have a button in your GUI which will teleport you to this part, the, well the position of this part. So, if this is what you want, then this video is for you, so I'm going to teach you how to do that now. So, I'm just going to quickly make my GUI, and I'll be back as soon as I've made it. Okay, I'm back and I've made my GUI now. So this is what my GUI looks like now. So you're gonna wanna have a frame inside a screen GUI. You can just name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And um, you're gonna want to play some text buttons. So this is gonna be what you click to teleport you. So I got three buttons so I've also inserted three parts. Tell this close up. Three parts into the workspace. So this is going to be the first place to teleport to. It's going to be the second, and it's going to be the third. Okay, so let's get straight into the coding. So inside your text button, insert a local script. I'm just going to do. Oh, oops. I'm going to do a time lapse. And I'll be back as soon as I've finished recording, so then you can copy it. I'll also leave a link in the description to the paste bin, so then you can just copy the code from the paste bin. So then you don't need to watch this, but if you don't want to, you can just go straight to the description and take the code from there. Okay, so now you've got the coding. So if you want multiple buttons, you can just duplicate it and then bring it into the next script. But the only thing that you need to change is the position to teleport to. Okay, so part two, I'm gonna copy the position of this one, just this, and then I'm gonna go back into the GUI and change this C frame value, well the position. And I'm going to grab this one too. So inside part place three. Just like that. You can just close them off afterwards. So I'm just going to close these off. Close that. And let's test it out. So we've got those parts. Then you'll be able to see that I teleport to those parts. Okay, so in. So parts all the way over there and I spawned all the way over here. So we created this GUI to help us scale the player quickly. So let's open this. And look, I teleported to the first part. I can teleport to the second part and I can teleport to the third part how easy is that and you don't even need these parts here so 
after you've got the position of these parts, you can just get rid of them. They're no use anymore, you can just get rid of them. And they'll still work, even without. Okay, so, I've spawned in. And as you can see, I've spawned over here. And I know of before that the parts are all the way over there. I'm going to go back. Yep, I'm over here now. Place two, place three. Yeah, so the other parts would have been over there. Because it was in a triangle shape. Place one, place two, place three. Like that. Also, I'll leave a link to the model in the description so you can just get this model. You, you can also just get the script from the paste bin, but you can just get the whole entire model for free from the description. I'll leave a link to it, so yeah. So this is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the bell so then you'll never miss out on an upload new video. So thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.